Welcome back to the channel. We're um, about to start day three on this car, which is kind of spiraling. Um, just to kind of give you an update, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, bought the car a couple of months ago, had an oil leak, uh, managed to fix the oil leak, uh, put about 300 miles on the car, and then uh, lost a lot of power, started sort of running on two cylinders. After lots of tests, it showed that it was the, um, fuel injector for cylinder one uh, so we've taken off well, me, and, me and Darren say hi Darren hello so we took off the fuel rail got the injectors off they're hopefully ready to go off to be reconditioned and we also noticed at the time that the rocker cover gasket is leaking so we took that off and in the previous video you saw the state of the actual um, head of the car so the cylinder head lots of odd oil almost looks like mud inside there so today what we're going to do is actually take off the entire cylinder head. Take okay, so we're about to start on the um, stripping process. So Darren's going to talk us through what we're going to be doing today. So he's done a lot of research on it. Um, and obviously there's a kind of sequence. Procedure, yeah. yeah. So talk us through, Darren, what we're going to do. Basically, very quickly, we're going to be taking off the alternator cover down below so we can get to the belt to slacken the alternator and the air con. Take the belts off. Yeah. Um, crack the crankshaft pulley, bolt, remove that. Then we've got to remove the timing case covers, yep. which will then give us access to the rest. So then we basically just start to undo the cylinder end bolts and lift it off. That's a very quick version. Um, it's worth knowing actually, and I, I think I mentioned it in the previous video, but the actual timing chain on this is loose as anything so it wouldn't surprise us if it skipped a tooth at some point so the timing's probably well off. Dave you can hear this. Exactly right so way. yeah it's well overdue a change anyway mm -hmm. so I think this is all happening at a good time it was only a matter of time before this perhaps failed completely. Um, it good caused point. even more time, damage. Time belt, you know. yeah, the is amazing. Um, yeah, we're here all week. Yeah. <laughs> One thing to note as well when you're down there, if you are doing this yourself, is that there is an engine mount attached to the cylinder head. Okay. So support the sun. Okay. All right. So yeah, we'll try and document this, you know, throughout this process. So um, yeah. Oh, that was the other thing as well. What's that? I believe we're going to be taking it off with the exhaust manifold and turbo attached to the cylinder head, all in one unit. Okay. Fine. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Be good. Let's do it. Okay. Let's crack on. The bottom pulley took a lot longer than we had thought. So a quick trip to Halfords to buy a small breaker bar and a E18, was it? E18 um, short um, socket. And we managed to get it off. So I can see why people take the engine out to get this done, because it's probably a lot easier. So we're probably not helping ourselves. Anyway, so that's all off. And we've taken off the side casing for the timing chain. What I'll do is, I'll show you on the bench. So, obviously the bottom pulley, here's the uh, nast nasty bolt to get off. But what's interesting though is, I mean you can sort of see the state of it, but you can see the scoring all the way along here from where that chain has been loose and the guides have pretty much just failed. So if I go to Darren, who you probably mm. notice is sporting... Injuries. Uh, ...a bit of headwear. Yeah, go on Darren, what are you saying? Basically, welcome to what's left of your guides. This one was jammed at the bottom, which is off the oil pump, and this one, which is also broken. Oh, there's another piece which has uh, just fell out, which is broken. Um, and 
the other piece, come on. Why, why is a broken piece not wanting to come out? Oh, here we go, it is. Can I get a camera in there? Really? You can. Um, I'll tell you what, even, there we go. Basically, it's because it's the long piece. Basically, all the slippers are broken. So this was going to fail pretty very, much. Very, very quickly. Yeah. This was going to, this is literally on self-destruct. One minute to midnight, there you go. So, what we've got here. <coughs> so we got, this belongs to this. So unfortunately, somewhere inside the engine is the rest of the pieces which are missing. Well, luckily we're going to take the sump off anyway, and. We're just going to, have, we're going to have to hope that it's in there. Um. That one belongs to the one that drives the oil pump, but you can see how badly worn they are anyway. And it's also been wearing slightly sideways, so as it's been breaking, it's been moving and moving and moving, and so the wear marks have started to go at an angle, and then it's just finally given way. So this was literally about ready to destruct, mate. Okay. Anyway, so this is a 96,000 mile um, car. So yeah, if you've got a noisy timing chain, it's probably worth taking it, you know, taking it to a mechanic or if you feel like tackling it yourself, getting it off and getting it changed because um, yeah, it sounds like this one was about to fail anytime soon. So anyway, next steps are um, get off. the uh, yeah the cylinder head off and sump take off. a look by oh, the sump as well. Yeah, I the missing bits. There's some more, <laughs> and then we'll take a look at um, what the pistons look like and we'll probably send the cylinder head off anyway just as a matter of course but um yeah just crack on and keep going Darren, do you want to do the big reveal? So the big reveal is um, timing chains off now. All the bolts, head bolts are out. Everything's undone. We've checked, double checked, and now we're ready to give it a tug. Okay, didn't come off too badly. So go on in, Darren. Bring it oh, out. There's some bits that just fell out. Do the shit. This way. <laughs> You can bleep of that. Cylinder one, the one that was the issue. Yeah. As you can see, the state of that uh, valve there with the big chunk that's missing out of it. That's the exhaust valve. The other ones look okay, just coked up. Surface of the head is okay. It's not corroded, so we should just get away with the check on the skim on that. But yeah, definitely going to need an exhaust valve. Yeah. On one um, Actually, yeah, inlets. That's not seating properly, is it? Well, it, there'll be a bit of coke build up on it, see, because of, well, that's how much coke's on it, on all of them. So the chances are the inlets will actually clean up fine. Okay. From the looks of it, yeah, because that one's been washed clean from it not firing. Okay. But that's, that's the big issue, is the state of that exhaust. Okay. So it seems every time we peel a layer, we're finding horror stories. So what we're gonna do now before we finish for tonight is get the sump off and um, have a look to see whatever horrors <laughs> might be waiting for us. So um, and, uh, have a bunch of the, the, the balls here as well. Well, exactly, hang on, while we're here, can we see that? Yeah, so this is the trouble one, number one. The surface of it is actually been washed pretty clean. Yeah. I mean, that's a mix of petrol and whatever. Um, number two, number three, what we're going to have to do is clean them up and see what state oh, they are. Come around this way, see if I can see them better. Yeah. But they're not in bad nick um, by the looks of it. Well, it's. I 
can see the cross hatching, which is a godsend, to be honest. The liners look okay. I can see cross hatching, so what we'll do, we'll just clean them up. Um, and we need to have a look at number one, so I'll wind the engine round and take um, a butcher's at one. The engine, uh, there's no fragments or anything um, looking nasty underneath there, so that's a saving grace, I guess. Uh, likewise, in the sump, uh, there's nothing in there which is sort of too alarming, to be honest. So the next step is to uh, try and get a slide hammer, or get a slide hammer on here to remove uh, the sort of pin for the visitor down. Yeah, um, for, down the, for the, for the, the yeah. for the chain, um, and then yeah, get the head sent off, uh, get that all fixed, um, and start ordering loads and loads and loads of bits. Yeah, so more toys. When so Darren was having a look at the piston liners. Um, I don't think th there's a tiny bit of wear. Yeah, these two. Sorry. Nothing okay. unusual for. A slant engine, slight bit, slight, slight marks at the top here, but nothing to be concerned about. The cross hatching is still visible, which is good. It's number one, which is the the problem piston area. It's showing more signs of wear at the top here, in that area there, and another patch just there. You probably can't see it on the camera, but trust me it's there and less cross hatching is visible more glazing so this is the cylinder that's been running <sighs> dry of oil as such because it's been washed with fuel etc so there's more wear on this one um, but not enough to warrant taking it out honing it and re ringing it basically cool. so yeah it's 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 kind of a lucky break we've not had too many of those anyway so <laughs> Order loads of bits, get everything sent off, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks, things will arrive. Darren's face will heal up. A lot far better. So just again, this literally <laughs> dropped on his head when um, you Mid removed off. sharp end forward. Yeah. So uh, safety first, folks. <laughs> cool. Get anyway, else to do it. We'll end the video there, and yeah, we'll. Um, We'll, look, we'll do an update once things arrive and we start putting things together. So while we're here, actually, I know my air-conditioned pipe's got a little crack on it there. So it's everything snowballs, doesn't it? You start taking things apart and you think, I might as well order this bit while it's easy to get to. And just in case you're wondering, we will be um, changing the thermostat, changing the thermostat again. It just makes sense while we're here. And all the belts. I'm not sure if I showed you, but the auxiliary belt, um, well, for the air, no, for the, for the alternator, for the alternator, absolutely knackered. It's actually uh, falling apart. So again, uh, I think this car was in desperate need of um, a lot of attention. But anyway, we'll end the video there. See you soon.